than a sweet treat people love peeps for some reason. I never really understood it. Jeff Stevenson is here and I think he has some peeps with us and they may be uh, going to a sad experiment. Where are the peeps? Balloons? Well, um, peeps? Same thing. I was here last time and I, I put you in a, a, a big bag and vacuum packed. You, I right? do remember Chris? this. Yes. yes. And we, we played around with the bell jar a little bit so I decided I, I'd bring it back today. And what, it, what, what this bell jar does is it actually, um, I have this uh, vacuum here that's pulling air out from around these balloons. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause a difference in air pressure. Okay, and you can see that these balloons are expanding and expanding and expanding and expanding, and they'll probably eventually pop ah. if I let them go too yep. long, like that one did. So what I'll do is uh, go ahead and rush all the air back in, and you can see that we have uh, got a very cool little vacuum experiment. Back here. to original size. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's because those pressure differences are the same again. So what I'll do is now, uh, when you vacuum vacuum packed me last week, I I never changed size. At least, no, at least you I, did, don't, I don't think. No, so. you did. I don't think you did. But uh, maybe, maybe maybe this time we can uh, maybe change the size with some other things. All okay? right. What should we start with? Well, um, I brought on some different uh, marshmallows. So why don't you go ahead and help me? Just kind of pour these in here. Okay. Um, Even these two. Yeah, yeah. Throw them all in. Throw them all in. So, uh, the, at Imagination Station, we're doing is uh, Saturday through the 14th as we're celebrating scientific sweetness, mm -hmm. which is the study of the scientific study of different properties of different candies. Okay, and why don't I go ahead and throw a couple of these big ones on top too? All right. So I've gotten a, kind of a big collection of different candies and different marshmallows. And normally at Imagination Station, we do these one at a time, right? Because if you're a good scientist following the scientific method, you don't want to be testing a bunch of different variables all at once. But I figured for you, Chris, we would go ahead and get a whole bunch of marshmallows all in here together. Oh, not just me, but kids alike would probably love this. It's a sweet experiment talking about candy, and it's a good way to kind of relay science to kids that come to the Imagination Station. Exactly. And the cool thing is I, I showed you all these little balloons in, uh, at the beginning because marshmallows, they taste what? They, they don't taste... Fluffy. They taste they fluffy. They have pockets of air in them. Yes, lots of little pockets of air. That's why I brought in lots of little tiny balloons to kind of show you what would happen on a big scale. Now we're going to see what happens if we take all those little pockets of air and pull all the air from around them again. I think I see where this is going. You think you, you, think you can figure out where this is I, going? We, we're probably going to fill this uh, vacuum chamber up as those marshmallows expand. All right, at, least, that's, that's, at least I hope. That's, that's a good hypothesis there, Chris. Let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm pulling the air from around it. I'm not, I'm not actually changing any of the air inside of those marshmallows, right? So I'm just pulling the air from around it. And as you can see, that the air that's trapped in those tiny little balloons, wow. and those tiny little pores, are actually expanding and expanding and expanding because there's a difference in air pressure. You know all about air pressure, right? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Meteorologist. And it's actually getting pretty squished down there on the inside, isn't it? It's these big ones on the top. Those are some real the, campfire yeah, marshmallows. Th those are getting very, very low. I mean, look at the difference between my normal, my normal marshmallow and then, but do you see what's happening to them now? They're starting to deflate a little. They're starting to deflate. And that's, you saw with those balloons that a couple of them popped. Right. That's what's happening to these marshmallows. They're actually getting, there's such a large pressure difference that they're actually going to pop all those little tiny pores. There's the part of the science that you just taught me something. Yeah, so. there you go, there you go. And once again, what do you think is gonna happen if I rush all the air back in? They're probably gonna shrivel. They're probably gonna shrivel, right? So let's back go ahead. Back to sort of original size. Or smaller. Or much, much smaller, right? Go ahead and pull that out for me, Chris, would you? Yeah, so you can see, I'll go ahead and set some of these down here. Let me get rid of all these other marshmallows. Get out of here, marshmallows. You can see that these things came down to become a much, much smaller size. So once we pulled all that, once those, all those little tiny balloons trapped inside of our marshmallows popped, mm -hmm. we ended up pulling the air even out of those. So we've completely deflated them. Not as appetizing. Not as appetizing. Well, if, if we're looking for something a little more appetizing, we, you know, we're, we're a science museum, so we don't just want to test one thing, right? Just one type of candy or one type of uh, variable. So I brought on some Ready Whip. So you want to go ahead and throw that little whipped cream inside of there? Go ahead and just fill it up. So this isn't a marshmallow, it's a different type of uh, sweet. But I'll go ahead and why don't you place it right there in the center. And we're going to see, and maybe I'll throw a little strawberry on top, right? A little strawberry, you make it look kind of uh, appetizing. And once again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see what happens, because I know whipped cream is kind of fluffy. You know whipped cream is kind of fluffy, right? I think I know what's going to happen. We're going to see Ow. what happens to our whipped cream in our vacuum chamber here. Oh, let me you, go. You've got a marshmallow not sealing your vacuum oh, chamber. Yeah, that's a very good observation there, Chris. I like that, I like that. Okay. All right, let's try it again. There we go, I think that's working a little better. 
So I've got too many marshmallows sealing me up again? I think so. This uh, one. Here, help me out here, Chris. We, we made a mess. Go figure. We made a little bit of a mess. Chris, you and I never make a mess. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Never. All right, I think we're clear All right, now. I think we're clear this time. Okay, let me let me really make sure it's on there, right? Okay. You want to sit on top of it? Yeah, I I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about that. <laughs> Fire away, there we go. Now here we go. All right, so as this is kind of blowing up again at the Imagination Station, what do you have going on? This Scientific time? sweetness. It's the study of we're studying different properties of candy. We're doing pH. We're putting marshmallows inside of vacuum chambers. That's going on from this Saturday all the way to the 14th. If we let this go, there may be no end in sight with how this. Yeah, how I, big this I, is I think this get. is going to keep going right. and keep going. So we might have to might have to let it we'll, move on. We'll here, cut Chris. it off there, Jeff. Thank you so much for coming on in. We appreciate that. Always a fun learning experience with you guys. Coming up on WTO 11, your day. It is time for.